Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, I will cover chapter 11, uh, which is databases. Uh, introduction. Okay. Uh, do you know what this database is? Well, database is basically a set of program that helps people to create, manage, and organize data or information. Like library is a secondary storage that is designed to store information. Uh, and you should need to understand how information is organized in fields, records, tables, and databases. Also, they also, they also need to know the different type of databases and structure. The reason that, so, people can it so people are able to find information when it's needed in a store databases okay so what is data let's talk about data data is a facts observation about people place things or event okay in the past it used to be numbers letters symbols but now also include audio music photographs, and videos. Two ways to view the data. The physical view, which is focuses on the actual format and the location of the data, and also the logic. The second one is logical view, which is focuses, which focuses on the meaning, content, and context of the data. Okay. How the data is organized. You learn this in Access Database from CIMNET 2016. Okay, the logical view, which is the data is organized into groups and categories. Remember in Access Database Labs that student work on the SIMNET and the handout that I provided to you through Blackboard. Uh, this is just a little bit explanation about the theory of databases. Okay. In Access, this one brown b r o w n this is called character so character is a single letter number or a special character field is a group of related character this is called a field name last name is a field name first name is another field name and so on what is a record record is a collection of related field you see this record record number 1 belong to Becker, Cecilia, and record number two belong to Brown and Sam, and record number three belongs to Coleman and Alex. So this is called a record, okay? This is called a record. This is called a field name. And table is a collection of related record. The whole thing of this is called a payroll table. So this is a table. So table is a collection of related record. It's called payroll table. We may have another one. It's called benefit table. Okay. When we combine the payroll table and the benefit tables together and employee table, the whole thing is called databases. Okay. So what is database? Database is basically integrated. It's an integrated collection of logical, logically related table. Okay. So Students need to understand this basic concept of database in order uh, to work on the labs. Okay. Otherwise, you may not be able to, to understand the theory behind it. Also, in the database, you need to know what is called primary key or a field name. Normally, at the beginning of the table, there is a first field name, which is a record number. This is called a unique key or primary key. Unique key is basically a field name that identify or uniquely a record. For example, social security can be a good primary key. Social security number or your phone number, your cell phone number can be a good primary key. Can you use last name as your primary key? The answer is no, because there are so many record that may have the same last name as you are. So remember that. Last name cannot be used as a primary key. All right, let's move on to the next one. 
batch processing. When, well, data is processed in two ways, the batch and real time. When data is collected over a period of time and the, and the processing happen later, later on, all at once, for example, like credit card company, this is called a batch processing. Let's say that you use your credit card to buy items in the store or pay some other bills. At the end of the month, you will get a monthly statement. This is how the batch processing works. On the other hand, it's called real-time processing. Real-time processing is also known as an uh, online processing because it happened immediately during the transaction. For example, when you insert your ATM card in the bank uh, ATM machine, this is called a real-time processing because as soon as you enter your PIN number, it will connect directly to the customer account database in your bank, right? If you get validated, then you will get approval. From then on, you can either do transaction by depositing cash or check, or maybe you can withdraw money from those that machine. All right. So now you know the difference between batch processing and real-time processing. Uh, what is the main advantages of having database? Well, the advantages to have databases is Organization from different departments of an organization can share their information. For example, sales department, human resources department, marketing department can access the same data. So each of their own department, each of its own department will not have their own data. That's going to create a redundancy, okay, which I mentioned to you. The reason that we have database in any organization so we don't have data redundancy. One organization have one databases, not each of the division or department. Security. The other advantages is security. Only people with certain right and permission have access to the data. Not everyone can access the data. The third one, less data redundancy, decrease unnecessary duplication. If each department have their own database, it's going to create a problem because uh, it has so many redundancy that takes a lot of space and is unnecessary thing. If you work in the same organization or companies, they should have the same data throughout the department or division. Okay. The other benefit is called data integrity, right? Data integrity, that means reduce the likelihood of inaccurate data. For example, when students update their phone number with the JackNet account, everyone will have the same information. Okay? It reduces the likelihood of inaccurate data. The disadvantages of having database is also security, right? If you don't maintain it well or secure the database well, people can hack into your system. They can steal your information and modify the information. This thing actually happened a few months ago with Capital One Bank. A hacker, which is an ex-employee, stole 100 millions of credit card information. Also, they transfer money about a few millions of Canadian currency. As a result of this, uh, the reputation of Capital One uh, will likely to be in jeopardy. Also, the person that is in charge with uh, information security had been moved to another department. Okay, database management software, right? Basically, this is a software that enables users to create, modify, and gain access of the data. Software made up of a DBMS engine and the data definition. The DBMS engine is bridged between the logical view and the physical, and the data definition subsystem is defined the logical structure by using data dictionary or schema. For example, when you create access database, this is called the data definition, which is the structure of a table. Employee ID, uh, last name, first name, address, and street. Okay. The database engine 
breeds the logical view and the actual data. After you create, after you create a table in the design view, which is the structure of a table, after that you need to go data sheet view and enter. This is where database administrator enter the data. So DBMS engine is bridge there. One of the most popular database engine is called Access Database. This is uh, considered a low entry, uh, a low entry uh, database management software. There are some other uh, database management programs are there in the market. For example, Oracle's, MySQL, uh, and Microsoft SQL Server. Those are the most popular ones. Okay. All right. Database management structure, right? There are so many different types of that. The first one is called the first generation hierarchical. This is a data structure in nodes, organized like an upset down tree. Each of the parent and node can have only one parent. I will explain that in the next slide. Network is hierarchical, except each child have different several parents. And the last one is relational database, which is the one that we are using right now. Access database is called relational database. Data stored in a table, in tables consisting of rows and columns. Multidimensional is data stored in the data cube with have three or more dimension. You will learn that in the next class in case you like to study computer and object oriented. Object oriented is basically organized data using class, object, and attribute. For the purpose of this class, we're only going to cover the first three. All right. As you can see, uh, as I mentioned to you earlier, hierarchical database, basically nodes point connected like branches of an upset down tree. As you can see that the, the music library, you have artists, the Beatles, Beyonce, and Coldplay. And each of these has an album, right? The greatest album, the Parasite album, and the X and Y Z album. And from the album, you have a song. So this is called a hierarchical database. The problem with this is that if the parent nodes get deleted, then all the subordinate child nodes will disappear. Okay. So this is not a good one. So we're going to move on to the next one. It has one to many relationships. The next one is network database is similar to hierarchical database except that each child node may have more than one parent. As you can see that business 101 course can be taught by Jones, P, and Long M. Also mathematics 101 can be taught by Mr. Long and Mr. Miller. Okay, so this is the network database. The third one is relational database. This is the this is the one that we learn in this class. It's a more flexible type where there are no access path down in a hierarchy. Data, the, the data is stored in a table called relationship. So you have vehicle table, and then you have uh, outstanding citation table, and then you have a vehicle table. This is the owner table. So all of this is linked, right? For example, license number of this belong to this vehicle number. Right. Also, this uh, license plate number has outstanding citation, which is this citation speeding. So this is what we learn in this class. All right, it's called relational database. Data store in a table like relationship. That's why when you create a table, you need to have this primary key, usually the first one. Remember primary key that I mentioned to you earlier, primary key is a unique field name that identify a record. Without this primary key, we cannot link to the other table. Type of databases, you have individual, companies, distributed, and commercial. The commercial table, like for example, request dialog, this is if you go to library and access to this, Website or database, it can offer business information as well as technical and scientific information. If you go to Dow Jones Factiva uh, databases, you can, uh, users can access all the business information about
current and past economic indicator. Database uses and issue. Well, strategic use, basically, we use this to do for data warehousing and data mining. Data warehouse basically store in the database for special use and data mining used to search data warehouse. Let me give you an example. Google database, right? When you go, when you when user use Google, that means they access the data warehouse, right? There are so many data in the uh, Google server. Data mining, you use the certain keyword to access, to find out some information. Let's say you want to access about COAC 1301. So in the Google search, you can type a keyword called COAC 1301. The security, as I mentioned to you, since it, it consists a lot of data or information, we need to protect them. How you protect them? You have to use firewalls. Okay. Firewall is a hardware and software devices that can protect the data. Also, when the developer create a program, they have to ensure uh, data validation. Okay. Data validation means uh, user cannot just enter any field, any number, character according to what they want, right? It has to be specified by certain parameters. Okay. So there are many ways to secure this database, physical security, like uh, not everyone can access to the server rooms. You have to use firewalls, right? It can be network firewall and host firewall. Also, data validation when the programmer create an access database, they have to make sure that the input need to be validated. For example, uh, if social security is nine digit, and when people want to enter 15 digit or 16 digit, it will be rejected. That's what it means by data validation. Oh, okay. I believe that's about it, right? Uh, so hopefully this uh, video discussion will give you some overview, like a, a summary about databases in general. Okay. Don't forget to view uh, my actual video presentation about how to create access database in case some of you have difficulty creating a database. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.